Broadway Review, brought to you by your Admiral dealer. The man to see for Admiral dual temp refrigerators, Admiral electric ranges, Admiral radios, phonographs, and magic mirror television. It's the Admiral Broadway Review, Encore. and comedy presents the all request show encore
presenting Olson and Joy. Admiral Broadway Review presents Sid Caesar in The Lost Check. All right, come on, buddy, hurry up. I ain't got all day. I wonder what I did with the check. Come on, you got a check? I got a check, I just can't find it, that's all. Uh-huh. I suppose you're going to claim you lost it? I didn't say I lost it, I said I just can't find it for the moment. Oh, that's sure, all. that's what they all say. My goodness, I can't imagine what happened, I just had it. Okay, I'll call the manager. Look, Charlie, the manager. Charlie don't like guys like you. Look, I'm telling you, I, I know I won't What's the trouble it. here? Another dead beat, Charlie. Claims he lost his check. Another one, huh? I don't understand this. What's the matter with you guys? Why don't you pay your checks? Look, I'd gladly pay. I just can't find it. That's all. I'm can't sure. find it, huh? How many times have we heard that one, Arnold? No, that's no story. I'm telling you, I, I just can't Aren't you it. ashamed of yourself going around chiseling meals? No, I'm not chiseling meals. I'm not chiseling. any pride. Now, listen, I, I gladly paid a check. It was, it was only 35 cents. 35 I, cents? I bet he ate a buck and a quarter. It was 35 cents. What did you have to eat? I had a, a chopped chicken liver sandwich and a cup of coffee. On uh, white or rye? Uh, it was rye toast. Uh, that proves he's lying. On toast, it's 40 cents. <laughs> all right. Maybe, maybe he was plain. I Why don't, don't you just save us all a lot of trouble and produce the check? Look, I gladly paid a check. Look, I'll pay you the 35 cents. Look, I'll, I'll even pay you 40... I'll pay you a dollar. Just let me out of here. Will oh, you sure. It's simple, ain't it? You don't care what happens to our bookkeeping system. Well, we do. We gotta have a check for every guy that eats here. Well, what can I do? Print one? Just a minute. What did you say you had to eat? I had a, 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 a chopped chicken liver sandwich and a, a, a cup of coffee. Chopped chicken liver, huh? Arnold, who's chopping the chicken livers today? I think it's uh, Stanley. Stanley? Stanley? We'll get to the bottom of oh, this. I, I got up from the table. I had the check in my hand. I had the check in my hand. Chopped liver. Chopped chicken liver, eh? He looks more to me like a roast beef eater. No, no, I didn't have any roast beef. I tell you, <coughs> I, had, I, had, I had a chopped chicken liver sandwich. I'm sure he did. Look, when, 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 when I was eating the sandwich, I, I remember I, I said it wasn't as good as my mother used to make. Ah, oh, now he's complaining. Look, should I call Victor? Victor's carving the roast beef. No, oh, Victor. Victor, Victor! Eats roast beef and insults my liver. No, no, I'm telling you, all I had was a chopped chicken liver sandwich. You gotta believe me. I'll tell you, I had a chopped chicken. What's up, boss? <laughs> Find out how much. Roast beef, this swindler ain't. All right, open your coat. Right, take it easy, will you? Please, I just had a chop chicken. Doesn't feel like roast beef to me. Feels more like turkey. Turkey? How much? A drumstick? That'll be a dollar. A wing? That's yeah. another dollar. And an order of cold slaw on the side? No. That'll be two dollars and fifty cents all together. Two dollars and fifty cents, no, I didn't have a... Well, I pulled out with fifty cents, no. Look, I, all I had was a chop chicken of a sandwich. I wasn't even hungry. I just came in here to kill a half an hour. All right, come on, buddy. You better pay up. Give. Two fifty. No, no, I'll, I'll find a check. I got You'd better not make any more trouble. You know there are names for guys like you. You know what'll happen, don't you? What? Look, what? why waste time? Call a cop. Find yeah, a cop. that's what we'll do. We'll call a cop. He'll come in a wagon. Put him away where he belongs. No, no, you can't do that. You can't call a cop. Those you know, it wouldn't hurt him to spend a night in a cell. Jail's check. too good for guys like him. He's probably got a record a mile long. I'll go get the police. No, don't get the cops. I gotta find this check. I got some, I think I must have some place in here. I I gotta find this check in my life, my kids. I'll be displaced. Every month. I gotta find this. Nobody knows where this is. I gotta find this check. If I had to find it, I know what I'll do. I gotta find the check now. It must be here someplace. I gotta find it. It's gotta be here. I know it's got the check. It's gotta be here someplace. I know it's gotta be. Wait. Wait a minute. I think. 
Yeah, 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 sure. I remember now. <laughs> there. There's the check. <laughs> There's the check. I don't care now no more. You see? There's the check. You thought I was lying to you, didn't you? There. There's the check. <laughs> There's the check. How much is it? 35 cents. Ah! <laughs> Guys wouldn't even trust your own mother, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm going to be pretty up all my Five Right, well, I can't go. Uh, hey, kid. Wonder how many times you guys pull out on me, somebody. What do you think I'd hear a hick or something? Get down with me, boy, when you fall around, you're going to fall out. Remember that, boy. I can make a pretty couple of whole bunches. All right, come on. Pay the check. We ain't yeah. going to pay. <laughs> hey, call the wagon. Come on, come on. Pay the check. Yeah. Uh. Cops. <laughs> well, what's the matter now? <laughs> I think I forgot my wallet. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> the Admiral Broadway Review recognizes the popular wave of ballet in the theater today. And one of the major classic ballets is Debussy's Afternoon of a Fawn. Well, at this time, Imogene Coker and William Archibald will present their own version of the Afternoon of a Fawn.
Newsreel reporter Frank Waldecker with an on-the-scene interview at LaGuardia Airport, where the international representatives of the motion picture industry are just arriving to attend the annual cinema conference being held here in America. First, we'd like to interview the representative of the vast French motion picture industry, Monsieur Francois Duval. Monsieur Duval, we understand that you are very enthusiastic about the motion picture that you're entering in the international contest. Oui, oui, oui. Uh, would you tell us something about that picture? Oh, mon sentiment. Gilberto, Gilberto, ça va aller le bon chéri. Des gens qui parlent. Des années 60, le grand gibier de marais, des gens qui parlent. Je vais expliquer to you in English. It is beautiful. It is so simple. You know. It is very simple. It is not with the technique, technique, the color, and the, 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 the gorgeous costumes. It is very simple. It is just about a love story. L'amour, the Sassan Gibi for Prince de la Magnifique. But there's one scene with Jean Gabin, Simon, Simon, Simon. Oh, she is beautiful. He is walking down the boulevard. Oh, I will show you. Ah, it is wonderful. He's walking down the boulevard. Oh, on soit, madame. Réveille le passage, réveille son savet, le passage, réveille des sas, des volumes de l'or. Hey, mais ça réveille, il come back. Stock up. Dans un règle, par l'objectif, en règle. Ben, c'est... Simon. Simon, Simon, Simon. C'est les bachelors qui sont après de la papa. Dans la chèpardie, ils se baladent. Vous avez assez par toi, l'âge. Tu n'as pas de papa, tu t'as fait rêve. Tu n'as pas de rêve, la charité, c'est mon camarade. Je l'ai rêve. J'ai perdu de la forêt. De la lips. J'ai vu le bachelor qui t'as de la fingers. In between the fingers. <laughs> Under the fingernails. Je vais pas serrer des son rêve, il faut que je l'arrête, il se barre. Je mets pas tous les arbres de l'éval. J'ai perdu de l'amour. C'est bien pas, n'est-ce pas Monsieur, what is the name of this picture School Days. Now, just, just stepping off the plane. The representative of the Russian motion picture industry, Mr. Alexander Dimitrikov. Mr. Dimitrikov, would you tell us something about the motion picture that you're entering in the International Film Contest? Play, simple, earth. Story of man. One man, Rochlai. Oh, one beautiful scene. Zinek Kreitz, a grumman will show me so rock for me, me, why she's a girl. Zanu Kutchima Kler, forest, black, Zanu Kreitz, the new one. The Chloe Chess, no, Rami Pagnich, with your eyes, a new little yoke there, cold, Rachni Nibish, Pajalok, there, yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And it's a prakloi. This new ship Prajalo, Zinek, Zabayama. Me, the real, into forest. Rachlu. Zuck, look away, 
a going away present one of our friends sent us since we're closing our television showroom for the summer he thought it would make a nice beau voyage present will you uh, set it up in the other room please yeah sure i feel like a kentucky derby winner from this end you look like one too <laughs> well friends as you heard me telling sam this is the last night we'll be meeting you in the showroom for a while so I'm going to depart from my usual routine. I'm not going to put the usual <laughs> pressure on. Instead, I'm going to give you a brief panoramic look at the many things Admiral has to make your home life more enjoyable. So let's start on this parade of pleasure right over here. First, let's look at some of Admiral's ultra-modern kitchen appliances, such as this super deluxe two-oven Admiral Electric range with two cooking ovens and featuring a rotisserie, an Admiral exclusive that brings barbecuing right into the home. And here we have the Admiral Dual Temp Refrigerator, a two-in-one combination home freezer and refrigerator that eliminates having to cover any food you put in it, eliminates all food odors, and most of all, eliminates defrosting. Yes, friends, with the Admiral Dual Temp, there's no defrosting. Now, right over here, we have Admiral's line of portable radios, beginning with this small, light, $19.95 battery model, and including these three stylish portables that sell for $29.95, $49.95, and in genuine cordovan leather, $69.95. Hey, boss, where do you want me to put this? Um, right down there, Sam. Now, folks, I'd like to tell you hey, about... Hey, boss, who are you talking to? Why, all our friends out there. You mean all the people who are sitting to see the rest of the show? The top of the evening to you is Caesar. <laughs> the champions. <laughs> Waiting for you to come on? <laughs> Not exactly, Sam, but here's something really worth waiting to see. These Admiral Table Model Radio. Style to fit any room in your house and price to fit everybody's pocketbook. They start as low as $14.95 and come in maroon, ebony, mahogany, and ivory. And here we have Admiral's Table Model Radio Phonograph, the only combination on the market that features the three-speed triple play changer. And it sells for $69.95. And now, Admiral Magic Mirror Television. Admiral, you know, makes all models and all sizes, from 7-inch up to 16-inch picture tubes. Now, here, for instance, is Admiral's table model television set. It requires no installation, no landlord's permission, and it sells for only $169.95 in ebony. And you can also get it in mahogany. And here, friends, is America's number one television value, the Admiral Three Foot Theater. A complete home entertainment combination that has everything. Dynamagic AM and FM radio. 
Admiral is exclusive triple play automatic phonograph and Admiral magic mirror television. All for as little as $399.95 in walnut. And it comes in mahogany or blonde as you see it here. And now we save the biggest and the best to the last. Here it is friends, the handsomest, finest looking television combination you could want in your home. In addition to the exclusive radio phonograph features you saw in the three foot theater, this Admiral console features a big 16 inch television screen that brings you the finest, clearest picture you've ever seen. You can get it in mahogany for $695, also available in block. Hey boss, yes? are you still talking to all those patient people? <laughs> yes, but I've just about finished Sam. Except to tell our friends that all these wonderful Admiral products will be available at their local Admiral dealers all summer. So long, everybody. See you in September. Come on, thank you. Encore, Miss Imogene Coca in Fur Fashions on Parade. A pretty girl <laughs> is just like a pretty You know, for practically every occasion, it's so basic and so black. <laughs> Aren't the skins simply divine? They're really so beautifully matched. So durable. <laughs> now, on those <laughs> so few occasions when you could possibly wear this number, may I suggest this next hilt? Well, frankly, <laughs> frankly, I feel it more or less talks for itself. It very often does. <laughs> Wish you could feel it. <laughs> such, such depth and such beauty, can't you just sort of see yourself walking down? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's face it, nothing is very stable these days. In my opinion, mind you, this is only my own opinion, and I certainly don't want to thrust it on you, but in my... <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I bagged that this morning. Central Park is simply overrun. They'll really have to do something. Notice. Notice the bracelet cuff. <laughs> Isn't that yummy? <laughs> now you'll find that this number is terribly good for skating in the park, sleighing, skiing, hockey, any casual sort of winter sport. There we are. Let winter come. <laughs> this is the new look. Why fight it? Has a pocket for small change. <laughs> you worship the kick feet. Aren't the lines simply magnificent? Speaking of lines, notice the lining. We feature the lining of this number. <laughs> it's reversible. <laughs> and water repellent. Did you, did you ever see such soft, lovely bellies in your whole life? 
Marge and Gower Champion, dancing for you an episode called Reencounter. Maybe you're wondering what happened. Or perhaps I can tell you. Let's suppose that one night you're at a party. There are people it's all very formal and conventional. And then you see this girl, someone you haven't seen for a long time. As a matter of fact, an old romance. So you meet, you talk, maybe you dance a little. And the strange and wonderful thing about it is that you're never quite sure if she looked at you in just the way you imagined. You're never quite sure if she meant what you thought she meant. You're never quite sure, in fact, if the whole thing happened at all or if it were just something that might have happened.
heartwarming dramas which are played every day behind the walls of the buildings in a large city, one of the most fascinating is the one which takes place in the operating room of a hospital. We bring you now Miss Imogene Coca in a soul-stirring drama entitled Surgery Strikes Back. <laughs> I can hardly keep my eyes open. Oh. You'd better hurry. Dr. Willoughby doesn't like to be kept waiting. Oh, is this Dr. Willoughby's case? Yes, gallbladder. Oh, boy, what a head I've got. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Oh. <laughs> well, is the patient ready? The chief will be here in a minute. Yes, are you assisting Dr. Willoughby? Yes, blast it. Oh, what a head I've got. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Hey, what is this? Everybody's got a hangover. No, don't worry. Dr. Willoughby does all the operating. Here comes the doctor now. Oh, boy, what a head I've got. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Nurse, where's my patient? Oh, there you are, my man. You're looking well. How do you feel? That's good. Why isn't the patient on the operating table? Doctor, Do uh, 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 Dr. Willoughby, this is the patient. Oh, so it is, so it is. What's the answer be the trouble, my man? But you told me you knew. Oh, so I did, so I did. Something about an operation, wasn't it? Well, we'll get right to work. Have you any last requests to make? Any messages for your relatives? Hey, what is this? <laughs> Nurse, you, you better start preparing the anesthetic. Dr. Uh, Spubble Boy. Yes, sir. By the way, I had quite an interesting talk this morning with Dr. Armour. Conceited puppy. Kept boasting he could perform that and next to blindfolded. He said I couldn't do it. I'm sure you could. Of course I could. With one hand, too. By God, it's almost worth it. I've changed no. my mind. I'm better. Take I want to go easy. home. No, I just remembered. I got Take an appointment. Easy, You're a lucky chap, my man. We're going to try a new type of anesthetic on you. Spinal injection. Wonderful stuff. Never been tried before. <laughs> we wait right through the operation. Oh, wait. Will there be any pain? None to speak of. Oh, I don't want it. Give me ether. Come, come. A little pain never hurt anybody. I want ether. I don't want any pain. I you there will be no pain. A little agony, yes, but no pain. <laughs> yes, doctor. Uh, doctor Willoughby, would you like to use the new electric needle? Let me see, nurse. Ah, yes, that's it. Wonderful gadget. Well, I guess we're just about ready. Happy. There, that didn't hurt, did it? In a minute, you won't feel a thing below your chest. Scalpel, nurse. Just a minute. There aren't enough sterile towels here. I prepared the usual amount, Doctor. Well, prepare some more. I expect quite a mess. Yes. Hello, my little <laughs> man. I mean, you nurse. I want to test the degree of anesthetization. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, oh. Please, ready. <laughs> now, observe closely, Doctor. First, we make a lateral incision parallel to the dorsal aorta, like this. In doing this, you must be very careful not to cut the carotid artery, which is right here, which is right there, which is, uh... Oh, it's around there someplace. <laughs> Next, we make longitudinal incision, 14 uh, inches long, at right angles to the lateral incision, which is 42 inches long. There we are. Ghastly, isn't it? <laughs> Always remember, Doctor, this is a very delicate type of incision and should be used only in cases of kidney trouble. Oh, but Doctor, this is a gallbladder case. Oh, so it is, so it is. <laughs> Just relax, my man, you still have a chance. Yeah, but Doctor, don't you... <laughs> Let's see, where were we? Ah, yes, we had just made an incision in the left lung. Now we do the right. Doctor, <laughs> this is a gallbladder case. Oh, so it is, so it is. Observe closely, Doctor. First, we cut through the anterior abdominal muscles, and what do we find? The posterior abdominal muscles. <laughs> we cut through those, severing the ligamental cords, and we, uh... Hello. <laughs> What's this I'm cutting here? I don't seem to recognize it. Oh, it's just the spinal cord. Now, by stripping the periosteum and raising the plaque, we find what, Doctor? The gallbladder? Correct, Dan. Here it is. Here it is. That's strange. It's not there. Exactly. Just what are you trying to pull here, my man? <laughs> what do you mean, Doctor? Come, come out with it. Don't lie. Where's your gallbladder? Yes, but I... I oh, I, I, lie down. I'll look again. And here we are, Doctor. Here is the root of all the trouble. Come <laughs> on, now. Dr. Willoughby, may I say that in all my experience in med college and as an intern, I have never witnessed a more exciting, a more stimulating, a more complete operation than you have just performed. Bravo, bravo. Thank you, thank you very much. And now, for my encore, I shall blindfold you. No, 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 no.
Ladies and gentlemen, Admiral presents Sid Caesar. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the midst of what they call a movie cycle. That I mean, almost all the movies coming out of Hollywood are about the same subject, namely boxing. Such as Body and Soul, The Champion, The Setup. I should like to give you my version of one of these boxing pictures. This one is called The Schmo. <laughs> these pictures always start out with the hero lying on his back on the canvas in the ring, and the referee is counting over him. One, two, three, four, five. Now, between the counts of five and six, the whole life of the fighter passes before his mind. <laughs> Four, five, six. Hey, Ma! Ma, it's from a damn bread butter sandwich. Thanks, Ma. Hey, Janie. Janie, you're my girl. Oh, come on, Janie. Let's go take a walk. Yeah. We'll go down by our favorite spot. We'll go down by the dumps. Yeah. Come on. Uh, that's it, Janie. You're my girl, boy. Nobody else is. Yes, uh, I'm gonna do big things. Yeah, you and me together, we'll do big things. Uh, I'm not gonna be a hey you all my life. I'm gonna be a mister. Yes, sir. I'm gonna do big things together, both of us. But right now, I gotta go to the pool room. I'll meet you after. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Hi, Mike. Hey, Pete. How are you then? Uh, the horse come in yet? No, huh? All right. Uh, bet your quarter, I make this shot. Bet. Two bets, you're on. I got it. There. Pay up the two bits. I got pay. It was an illegal shot. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it was an illegal shot? Hey, it was a, you had your foot off the ground. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an illegal shot. It was illegal. It was not illegal. I'm not going to throw it. You're going to pay me the two bits? No, I ain't going to pay. It was legal. Okay, then take this. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! I'll pay the two bets, eh? That, what do you want? Pretty handy with your mitts, aren't you, Sonny? <laughs> How'd you like to go into the ring? Become a boxer? What? Get my brains knocked out? No. Uh, I'll go be a chemistry teacher. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. well, anytime you change your mind, Sonny, let me know. Your name is Mike Mallon. Here's my card. Get me at the Gotham gym anytime you want. Okay, when I want you, I'll need you. I'll find you. So long. I'm not gonna meet my girl. <coughs> Jane! Jane, what are you doing with a guy like that? You had a date with me. What? Oh, he's a big shot. Makes 15 bucks a week, huh? <laughs> all right, go ahead, go with him. That's all you want. It was money anyway. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, I could make money too. Sure, and I will. I'll make it with my fists. Sure, I'll be a fighter. That's what I'll do. I'll become a fighter. What was the name of that guy? Mike Mullen. Sure, the Gotham Gym. I'll be a fighter. Am I ready yet, Mike? Not yet, huh? Am I ready yet, Mike? Not yet, huh? Keep your left up, all right? Keep your left up, that's what I said. Keep your left up. Keep your left. Show me my left hand, I'll keep it up. Watch it, my left hand. That's all. All right. Hey, Bob, a lot of road work. Mike, am I ready yet? I'm not ready. All right. Mike, am I ready yet? I am. Okay, I'll fight. Where is he? Where is he? All aboard! Woo! Pittsburgh! Yeah, yeah, hit him out there, I got to hit him down, hit him left to left, and I win, I <laughs> Kansas City, yeah, yeah, hit him in the Labanza, yeah, yeah, hit him there, and I win, I yeah, yeah. Woo, Mexico City! Hey, caliente, señores, que vendo con la señora de mea, este bala, Come on, you boy. Yeah. I don't want to game. Oh, New York City. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, come over here. Okay. 
What do you want? I like a nice fighter like you. <laughs> you got lots of guts. Big and strong. <laughs> You're mine! <laughs> what do you mean I'm yours? Why? Why should I be yours? Why? Why? Sure, why? Why should I be yours? What do you mean I'm yours? Why? 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 Because. <laughs> I won your contract last night from your manager in the game of Pinochle. <laughs> and that's why. What do you mean? I, you think I'm a piece of cheese? You can win over a counter? Yeah, sure. Why? What do you mean you can win me? Why am I something? Yeah, why? 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 <laughs> You're mine! <laughs> I'll tell you what we're gonna do with you. I'm gonna take you up to my place in the country. I'm gonna get you nice in a train. Good. I have the best trends for you, lots of roadway, good food. And then I'm gonna send you on a road. And you're gonna fight the finals, no more semi-finals. And then when you're in top condition, you're gonna come to the garden, fight the champ. And in the sixth round, you lose. <laughs> what do you mean I lose? Why? Why should I lose? What do you mean I lose? Why? 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 For $65,000. That's why, Sonny. Think it over. I'll be back a little later. $65,000. I gotta take a dive, throw the fight. I gotta go see me mother. Ma! Ma, look who's home. Stevie's home. My boy, my boy's home. My boy's home. Yeah, Ma, what are you crying for? <coughs> Ma, why are you crying? I got plenty of money. Sure, I'm rich. Sure, look at these clothes, Ma. Look at this suit. $200. I got it in Pittsburgh. Look at the shirts, Ma. $30 a piece. I got them in Kansas City. Look at this, Ma. I got this in Montreal. See that? Ma, what are you whining about? I got plenty of money. I'm going to take you out of this damp, dark, dirty dump. Sure, I'm going to take you to a place where there's sun and sunshine and fresh air. I'll move you across the street. Sure. What are you crying about, Ma? There. There, Ma. There's plenty of money. Go ahead. Stop crying, Ma. Hey, kids! Hey, kids, there's Stevie! Hey, Stevie, you're gonna win the fight tonight, hey, Stevie! All right, kids, all right, kids, all right. Hey, Stevie, you're gonna win tonight, because we've been 19 cents on you, huh? Hey, we've been, we've been 19 cents, you gotta win tonight for us. Win the championship, ain't you? All right, all right, kids, all right. All right, sure I'll win. Look at them kids. Look up to me like a hero. What a hill I am. They bet their last 19 cents on me. And I'm gonna throw the fight for $65,000. <laughs> I'll give them their 19 cents back. <laughs> All right, Steve, come in here. Step on the scale. Hi, Doc. Hi, right, 195 and three quarters. Okay, right. Hi, Doc. Hi, right, Steve. Lots of luck on the fight tonight. Just want to test your heart. All right. <laughs> He's okay. All right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Take this here. Yeah, down there. I gotta make it look good. Here it is. The sixth round. I'm gonna dive now. Here you go. Ah! Oh, oh. One, two, three. I gotta make it look good. I gotta make it look good. Four, five, six, sixty-five thousand dollars. Seven, sixty-five thousand dollars. Eight, sixty-five thousand dollars. Nine, sixty-five thousand dollars. If I lose, but if I win, I'll make a hundred thousand. What a schmo! Yay! Take that. And new heavyweight. Champion of the world, yay! Encore, the Admiral Broadway Review presents the Freight Yard Ballet.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last of the Admiral Broadway reviews for this season. Now, on behalf of the entire acting company, I should like to thank everyone connected with the show. Stagehands, cameramen, technicians, musicians, everyone as our thanks. And of course, our deepest gratitude to you, the television audience. Because, well, you perceive this at such a... <laughs> you received this with such a wonderful way. We want to thank you. And so, until next September, we meet again. Bye and good luck. Until next September, meanwhile, your Admiral Dealer, the man to see for Admiral Dual Temp Refrigerators, Electric Ranges, Radios, Record Players, and Magic Mirror Television, invite you to enjoy the new television version of Stop the Music. Check your local newspaper for time and station. <laughs>